Holy moly, Trade Hackers. Today is January 8th, Wednesday. Welcome to today's update. A little bit of a wild ride in the markets after the missiles were launched by Iran onto the Iraqi base where U.S. troops were held. Last night, the market was down. The S&P was down 40 plus points, 44 points is what I saw at one point, just looking at it. Um, way down here, all the way down to a low on the futures of 3181. And then once we realized that Iran shot some missiles at us, over a dozen missiles, but somehow completely missed, <laughs> no casualties, no nothing, everything's just great. And guess what? The market is back at all time highs. So I was talking to Chad last night when the market was going down, oil was up over 4%. S&Ps were down 40 plus. VIX was up, you know, 10 plus percent. And, you know, I kind of made a joke to him saying, yeah, watch the, the S&Ps will close up tomorrow. In my mind, really thinking, wow, you know, something of this magnitude from a geopolitical standpoint, you know, we're probably going to see some follow through to the downside. So not really thinking that that would be the case. But in fact, we did close up. Well, we've got about 25 minutes left in the cash market, but we are going to close up. Not only up, but the S&P is up 30 plus points. We are at record new all-time highs in the market, and everything is just honky-dory in Candyland. So here we are. I mean, the, the resilience of this market is just unbelievable. So that's the S&P oil. Again, oil was up over 4%. Now it's down almost 4.5%. Was down uh, close to 5%. I mean, that's a nine-point range within you know less than 24 hours in oil. And oil is down lower than where it was when we first did the attack on the Iranian military leader. And so, I mean, what a crazy ride here. So interesting stuff, very interesting stuff. So what did we do today? Well, let, let's take a look at a couple other things. The other thing, gold. Gold was up big and it has completely reversed. Let's see, bonds. Bonds were up and bonds have completely reversed. So we had a lot of that flight to quality, money pouring into gold, money pouring into bonds, and then that is just completely reversed because all fear, every single bit of fear is subsided, and we are ready to rock and roll on this market to all-time highs. So a couple things in as far as what we did is Tesla continues its march higher. So we've been talking about Tesla as it's been on just a huge run, up another 5% today, big move. We put on a, a reverse iron duck, and so trying to play into that up move. So with the reverse iron duck, anything to the downside, we make a little bit of money. If this thing goes all the way up to about this level here, anywhere in here, we'll book max profit. So uh, got some time in that one left, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, you know, the, this march dies down just a little bit and just kind of trades a little bit sideways for a while, that would be good. The other thing we did, we made an adjustment in our natty gas position, just rolling to the next cycle, extending duration on that piece. And then taking a look at earnings. So if you're in TOS, if you go to the Market Watch tab and go to Calendar, what you can do is you can check these boxes. And so if we just check the boxes for earnings and the conference calls, what you'll see is all the different earnings. Now, there's not really any companies that we care about this week, but getting into next week, we get into some of the bank stocks and some of the some other big name companies that we will be paying attention to. So specifically on the 14th, JP Morgan, Citigroup, Delta Airlines, Wells Fargo. And if you look in the list here, so this is the calendar view. And then if you look down below, you can see the actual times that these announce. So if we look at the 14th, for example, and we look at Wells Fargo on 114 before the market, we've got JP Morgan 114 before the market. We've got Citigroup 114 before the market. So three big banks there. Let's see what else was there. Oh yeah, Delta Airlines uh, 114. I think that's after after the market closes. 
So some uh, some decent earnings coming up next week. So we'll be looking at those for potential earnings plays and leading up to some of these announcements, especially in the big tech, we'll be looking at some potentially some pre-earnings plays like we teach in our earnings course. Also, we will be posting details here in the coming week or so, but we are doing a new strategy course. The date is going to be January 28th. And I'll have more details, but uh, the the strategy is going to be all about protecting your portfolio. Now, after after the events last night happened, I thought, oh man, we didn't get this released in time. You want to have it on before a disaster happens, but looks like everything's back to a okay. So it looks like we potentially still have time. So anyway, January twenty eighth is the date. We'll be posting more details. Uh, we're calling this strategy the Bunker Strategy. It's here to protect your portfolio against disaster. It's a, it's a great strategy, something that we've been testing and using for the last several months and look forward to sharing it with everybody. So everybody have a good night. Talk to you tomorrow.